I apparently have no memory left on my memory card, which means that I've taken a lot of videos since I was here, but I really don't have a lot of coherent content that matches each other. But I might do this as a little mini video in between the other videos, not posted on Saturday, maybe posted tomorrow, maybe the next day. It is Tuesday, May 2nd, um, and I reached, ah, I reached 100 subscribers today, 103, I think, so I'm super happy about that. I've only been doing YouTube for about two months, so at this rate, I'm going to get monetized in about a year, <laughs> hopefully, hopefully less, but um, I really enjoy making videos. They've been they've been pretty fun and and a test of of kind of what I can accomplish if I if I really try. And I ended up making a website the other day www.squattyvanventures.ca. So that's really cool. Right now it doesn't have anything, but it's going to have some blogs, hopefully some merch available and things in the future. This guy is flashing me. I'm too big to let you buy, buddy. You gotta have some patience. Anyway, tomorrow we are most likely going to get a cake. I also, some personal things, I do have doctor's appointments every single year. I have to go downtown Toronto to get checked out for um, some feminine stuff. So I'll probably give you an update tomorrow. It's always a case where if they don't take any biopsies, that's good news. If they take biopsies, then it's, it's kind of iffy. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it all goes well. If anything, I'm waiting here for, for the next two weeks plus, hopefully for good results back. But yeah, so we have that tomorrow. Probably going to get it cake as well and write some uh, 100 subscriber thing on it. I don't really know, but probably going to celebrate that a little bit because I'm super, super happy about it. And then maybe take some footage downtown just of me driving downtown, how, how big the buildings are and everything for you guys to see. But yeah, it'll probably be just a short little video. Um, and that's pretty much it. So thank you again for subscribing. I hope you guys like stuff. If you want to see specific things like a question video or even like blogs, you want me to answer questions or, or anything like that, then please feel free to write in the comments different questions you have for me and I'll, I'm a pretty uh, open person. Also my DMs on Facebook are open. My DMs on Instagram are open. I don't know if there's messages on YouTube. If there are, feel free to message me if you have any kind of personal questions, maybe about the grosser stuff, about like washroom things, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, But yeah, I'm pretty much at your guys' disposal in terms of what you want to see on my channel. A lot of it will just be day-to-day -day life. Like the videos that are coming of me in Ontario right now, I'll be honest, they aren't that exciting because my life here is pretty stationary. There's not too much to do. You'd think that there would be just because it's a big city, but at the same time with how big my rig is, I want to go to the ROM. I want to go to the AGO, the Art Gallery of Ontario, but I don't think that parking is big enough for me to drive my van down there. We'll see. I just want to get my doctor's appointment dealt with and then we'll kind of go from there and plan some things but the next video you guys will see is a drum heller one still I believe and then I think there's a couple more drum heller ones in the following weeks and then after that you'll start seeing some Ontario things and then I'll be traveling up northeast soon never been there super excited about that because it'll be summer it'll be nice it'll be warm and I will be much happier and out of the seasonal depression disorder. So yeah, that's all I have to say right now. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Keep you guys updated as always. I film, I think, 
every single day, multiple times a day. Just depends on what is semi-entertaining for YouTube. But, yeah. Bye! Okay. <laughs> Look at my hair! You guys are seeing all angles of me all the time. It is, I think, 7, yeah, 7, 10 a.m. Gonna go to my parents' house right now. I'm going to shower. I have about like an hour, actually no, an hour and a half till I need to drive there. But the thing is I'm gonna be there hella early just because I don't know how traffic will be. I haven't gone to Toronto this early. Um, I probably did back in the day when I used to work down there. I don't work down downtown, which is where I'm going, but I did work um, fairly close. I think it was like young, young and something. But yeah, my dearest brother is letting me use his car. Thank God, because I have my van obviously, but the only parking that I know of down there is the underground parking and you can barely fit in a car in the underground parking. It's just so tight all around. So there's no chance that I would fit in the van. And then I tried searching up if there was any parking around where I'm going. Couldn't find anything. So I just ended up asking my brother if I can use his car. It'll be my first time driving a car in like two years. So that'll be fun. <laughs> I, I imagine it's gonna be a lot easier and faster than what I'm used to. <laughs> but yeah, I also decided last night, I think I'm gonna start uploading two videos per week. This is turning into pretty much as much work as a full-time job, at least a part-time job, because the other day I spent like six or seven or 10 hours setting up my website like it's a lot it's a lot so part of me wants to well actually not part of me but I in a whole want to fully commit to me uploading videos majority of them are just me talking but I mean if anything I'll use YouTube as a therapy session and that's what my videos <laughs> will be I mean, some, some of van life is fun, but that's what I promised you guys is that I wouldn't do the influencer van life because let's be honest, it's just, it's not like that. Every day to day, it's not like that. Like today I have a doctor's appointment to practically find out if I'm like cancer free or if I should be worried. I've never had cancer, but I've had over the past, I think like six, ish years seven years almost every single time I've had an abnormal pap um, if you're a man and you don't know what that is search up what a pap is in a woman if you're a woman you know what I'm talking about so it's kind of just a yearly checkup to make sure that it stays at a level where it doesn't turn into cancer I hope it doesn't because I just got a new dog and a new cat and that would absolutely suck. But you never know nowadays. It's not like I fully, fully take care of myself, but I've known people, I mean, shoot, there's little kids that get cancer. You know what I mean? Sometimes I think it is completely uh, unavoidable, but yeah, that's what we're going downtown for. Hopefully we get some good news. Like I said yesterday, if they end up taking a biopsy, that's a little bit iffy. They normally come back okay, but taking a biopsy means that the doctor doesn't really like what she sees. If they don't take a biopsy, then that's that's great. Also, it hurts a lot less. Um, I don't want to, I'm gonna get a little bit into it. So if you don't want to hear about this, it's kind of gross scroll leave the video I don't care about the views don't watch it with what I'm about to say so basically what they do is they use like the opener and then there's like a scrapey thing which is just the normal path and like a q-tip that they use um, 
for me, what they do is they have a pair of like forceps that if she sees abnormal like polyps or skin or anything, she'll literally clamp those down and tell you like three, two, one, cough. And when you cough, she basically like yanks out of ch a chunk of your skin. And I'm not even lying. Like that, I'm not being dramatic. She literally takes out like a centimeter chunk of your skin when you do that cough thing. No pain management at all. They don't put you under local anesthetic. They tell you to take an Advil before, like that does anything, because it doesn't. Um, I've left crying a few times, just because it's quite an invasive, I mean, I like my doctor. I'm glad I've had the same doctor for the past six, seven years. There was one lady I did not like. I got her because my doctor was on vacation or something, and, I think that lady took six biopsies from me that day and it hurts. It's not something that feels good. It, it actually, actually hurts. Um, and then you're left to pretty much bleed for about two weeks after. And it's, it's not enough to really even do anything about. You can't wear tampons. You can wear pads, but yeah, it's, it hurts. It's not, it's not a fun thing what I'm, going to do today it just isn't so I feel so small right now because I'm not in the van I feel so tiny like I feel like I'm driving a smart car but I'm not it's actually like a sedan so yeah but I was gonna bring um, Nova and I even put him in the back but he was just absolutely freaking out so I decided to leave him in the van I'm only gonna be gone for like three hours which is kind of a bit but at the same time like if I had a full-time job then I'd be gone for like eight plus we have to go because there's lots of traffic uh, at least parking will be easy I don't have to worry about that thankfully and driving there will be a little bit easier too hopefully doctor's appointment goes well hopefully I can be in and out of there at my allotted like appointment time but you know Canadian healthcare that never really happens Ugh. yeah stressful day it's raining too which absolutely sucks so yeah, I'll touch base with you guys probably when I'm in the city. And I'll see you later. Definitely, I uh, would not be able to be here in my van. That's for sure. Turn my alarm off. Parking slip. Purse. Wallet. Everything. Okay. So I'm gonna go in. I'll be back probably in about an hour and then I'll check up then. Well, that wasn't the news that I wanted. Um, so apparently it looks like there have been some changes. So they ended up taking a biopsy 
and I'll hear back in a couple of weeks whether or not they are negative or positive. Um, so yeah, now it's just a waiting game. Basically, just gotta wait until I get my results back, which absolutely sucks. Um, normally, if it was another negative without changes, then I'd basically be all clear um, and able to go back to just getting a pap every three years, but because it's abnormal, I have to come back here um, next year again for like the eighth year in a row doing this. Part of me wants to see if I can honestly just get like a hysterectomy because I'm really tired of coming here and every single time getting told, hey, you might have cancer. Like, that's great. Also, it costed $8 to come here to park, and I was here for less than an hour. I was here for half an hour, and it costed $8 to park in this parking garage. It wasn't that expensive last year. Yeah, it's not the news I, I wanted today. It's kind of hard to go celebrate a hundred subscribers. Sorry, dude. Go. I mean, pay attention. I'm coming out of a flipping parking garage. I'm in a really pissy mood right now. I mean, granted, I might have flipping cancer. Like, are you kidding me? And every year I go through this, every flipping year. Like at a certain point, it's tiring, man. At a certain point, you're like, just tell me I have it. Like, just tell me I'm going to die. Come on. It's just so annoying coming here every single year and being tied down to this shitty city. Yeah, this was going to be like happy news get a cake write a hundred subscribers on it but i mean even if it comes back negative fabulous i'll be happy but it's just getting tiring man it's just getting tiring doing this every single year so i think this is just how i'm gonna end this video i'm not gonna do the whole happy 100 subscribers thing because I'm not happy right now. I mean, maybe we'll celebrate it in a couple of weeks, but it's all I can uh, offer at this given moment.